What is up YouTube? You are once again tuned into Ferris Vessel. It's been a good couple of weeks since the last managed to get a video up. That's because of work, I've been busy, etc, etc. But today I'm bringing you my Blue Eyes White Dragon deck profile, which has uh, recently been completed thanks to the help of one of my subscribers who uh, sort of met with the last couple of cards that I required. So thanks very much for that. So without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into this one, guys. You've got one week left on the competition to remember go down below like subscribe and obviously leave your answer for the question which i will post in the comments at the end of the video uh so yeah enjoy this one guys this is the blue eyes white dragon so guys yeah with every deck that i build as you know i like to uh, run three copies of the signature card. In this case, it's the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I have these three different artworks in on the card. As a matter of fact, this one here was, considering its age, isn't too bad a nick. I've had that card since I was 14. That's quite a long time ago, I can assure you of that. So, yep, three copies of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I like to run two copies of the Dragon Spirit of White. There's two copies of the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. One copy of Blue Eyes Solid Dragon. One copy of the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. I have three copies of the White Stone of Legend. Two copies of the White Stone of Ancients. One copy of Kyberman. There is two copies of King of D. I run three copies of Protector with the Eyes of Blue. I also run three copies of Maiden with Eyes of Blue. One copy of Priestess with Eyes of Blue. One copy of Master with Eyes of Blue. And to finish off the deck, one copy of Paladin of White Dragon. Which is, uh, with all my dragon decks, I always make sure that I try and get a ritual in there somewhere or other. Just to boost it and bulk it slightly. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, that's the monsters that run in the deck, guys. What I'll do now is I'll slowly, as I pull them back away, I'll go through what monsters do, etc, etc. Via their effects. Starting with Paladin and White Dragon. You can obviously ritual summon this card with the White Dragon Ritual. At the start of the damage step, if this card attacks a face down defense position monster, destroy that face down monster. You can tribute this card and special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand or deck, but Blue Eyes White Dragons cannot attack for the rest of this turn. So it, it works, you know, hell, you're going to get out one of your 3,000 signature cards. But at the same time, it can't actually attack for this turn, so it's one of those collateral damages. Uh, Master with the Eyes of Blue. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one level one light tuner monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. You can shuffle this card from your graveyard into your deck and target one effect monster you control and send it to the graveyard. And if you do, special summon one Blue Eyes monster from the graveyard, other than the sent monster. You can only use this effect of Master of Eyes of Blue once per turn. Next up you have the Priestess. When a card or effect is activated that targets this card, which is a quick effect, you can send one effect monster you control to the graveyard, and if you do, add up to two Blue Eyes monsters with different names from the deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Blue Eyes monster you control, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, Special summon this card. You can only use one Priestess with Eyes of Blue effect per turn 
and only once that turn. That's why I only run one copy. Next up we have the Maiden with Eyes of Blue, which if I remember rightly was modelled on uh, Kasara from the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Useless hint that you'll probably never need to know it ever again. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack, and if you do, change the battle position of this card. Then you can special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. When a card or effect is activated that targets this card, quick effect, you can special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only use one Maiden with Eyes of Blue effect per turn, and only once that turn. So running that at three copies, guys, works well within deck. Next up we have the Protector with Eyes of Blue. Where this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level one light tuner from your hand. You can target one effect monster you control, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one blue eyes monster from your hand. You can only use this effect of Protector with Eyes of Blue once per turn. Theoretically, you could actually run that at two. But I like to run it at three. Uh, King of D, we all know what he does. He's got the ability to, um, when he is normal summoned, discard one spell or trap and add one flute of summoning dragon, melody of awakening dragon, or dragon revival rhapsody from your deck to your hand. Kyberman, like I said, only one copy of him. Basically, you contribute this card face up and special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand. The two copies of White Stone of Ancients, once per turn during the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it's sent there this turn, you can special summon one Blue Eyes monster from your deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Blue Eyes monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. You can only use the effect of White Stone of Ancients once per turn. That's why I run that at two. Again, another one that you can run pretty much at two copies if you wanted is the White Stone of Legend. When this card is sent from the graveyard, add one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your deck to your hand. I run that at three. Obviously, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Uh, before you can bring it out, you need to have a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon on the field. Or the Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon as well. That works with it. Um, basically, it gains 300 for every Dragon type monster in your graveyard. And it can negate the effect of spell, trap, or monster cards that designated as a target. So, nice little card when you get him out. Uh, Blue Eyes Solid Dragon. This is one of the new support cards, I believe. It was given to me by one of my subscribers. Um, sorry, no, tell a lie, this one wasn't. I ordered this one off of eBay from one of my um, eBay contacts. Which was Al Super Cool. His link for his e eBay page will be on the description box, guys, at the end of the video. So, you know, pop along, have a look, see what he's got. You might have something you require. Uh, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can tie one face up monster your opponent controls and negate its effects. When your opponent activates a card or effect, as a quick effect, you can. Shuffle this card from the field into the deck, and if you do, special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon from the deck. You can only use the effect of Blue Eyes Solid Dragon once per turn. It's a nice little card there for getting the Blue Eyes out. I said I'm going to do the Dragon Spirit first. This card is always treated as a Blue Eyes card. Uh, this card is always treated as a normal monster while in the hand or graveyard. When this card is special or normal summoned, you can target one spell, trap your opponent controls, and banish it. If your opponent controls a monster, quick effect, you can tribute this card, special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand. So basically, every time you've got one of these out and your opponent controls a monster, just kind of put this in the graveyard and special summon a, a blue eyes from your hand. So it works well. The two blue eyes alternative dragons. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must first be special summoned from your hand by revealing one blue eyes white dragon in your hand. You can only special summon blue eyes alternative white dragon once per turn this way. This card's name becomes blue eyes white dragon while it's on the field or in the graveyard. 
Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. This card cannot attack the turn this, this effect is activated. This is why I run it too. Which, if I remember rightly, this card was from one of my loyal subscribers. Thank you very much, Simon, for that card. And to finish him off, the three copies of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So that's it for the monsters, guys. I do have an extra deck, which I will do later on in the video. Moving on next, we have the spells. So, guys, the spells for this one. I run one copy of the White Dragon Ritual. Obviously, I've got to have the ritual because I have the monster. Um, my signature card, the Scapegoat. Well, I'll say my signature card. One of my signature spells. Almost every deck I own has a Scapegoat in it. Um, for those who don't know what it does... When the card is activated, you cannot summon any monsters in the same turn, including Flip and Special Summon. Place 4 Sheep Token, Beast Type, Earth, 1 Star, Attack 0, Defense 0, in defense position on your side of the field. The tokens cannot be used as a tribute for a tribute summon. So yeah, there's that one. Let's check to make sure these are actually in order. One waiting, which I don't think they are. Yeah, they are. Right. So, next up we have one copy of Return of the Dragon Lords. Basically, target one level 7 or 8 dragon-type monster in your graveyard and special summon it. If a dragon-type monster you control be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from the graveyard instead. Any bangs you hear in the background, guys, I will apologise for here in Britain it is bonfire night and it is currently now quarter past five so most of the fireworks displays will be starting to go off uh, one copy of dragon's mirror where you can fusion summon one dragon type fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from the field or graveyard I like to run one copy of wing beat a giant dragon return one level five or higher dragon type monster from the uh, from your control to your hand and destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. I have two copies of Burst Stream of Destruction. If you control a blue eyes white dragon, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Blue eyes white dragons cannot attack the turn you activate this card. Now for the fun cards from earlier on that I managed to mention. Dragon Revival Rhapsody, I've got one. If you control a spell, cast a monster. You can target up to two dragon monsters in your graveyard, including at least one normal monster, and special summon them. Your opponent takes no damage this turn. You can only activate one Dragon Revival Rhapsody per turn. One Melody of Awakening Dragon. Discard one card, up, add up to two copies of dragon-type monsters with 3,000 or more attack or 2,500 or less defense from your deck to your hand. And one flute of dragoning, uh, summoning dragon. Playing this card when you have Lord of D face up on the field allows you to play up to two dragon type cards from your hand as a special summon. But as we know, guys, um, the deck actually contains King of D, which has the ability of when it's on the field, it became Lord of D. So it's still that card still works with it. Okay. I run one copy of Beacon of White. If you do not control another Beacon of White and you have three or more Blue-Eyes monsters in your graveyard, target one of them and special summon it, but its effects are negated. Also, equip it to this card. When this card leaves the field, banish the equipped monster. Other monsters you control cannot attack, and if you have any number of Blue-Eyes monsters in the graveyard, the equipped monster can attack up to that many times during each battle phase. So let's say you've got four blue eyes monsters in your graveyard you can actually attack uh, attach beacon of white to one and hit four different monsters i have one copy of silver's cry sorry tell a lie no i don't <laughs> i have three copies of silver's cry 
for some reason I had a card slipping over the top. Uh, target one dragon type monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. You can only activate one silver's cry per turn. I like to run card trader. Comes in handy with this deck. Especially if you're struggling for fishing tactics of getting the cards out that you require. I have one copy of Dragonic Tactics. We tribute two dragon type monsters and special summon one level 8 monster from the deck. Dragon Treasure. Basically it's a, an equipped card for dragons. It increases their attack and defense by 300 points. I have Mountain. Which increases the attack and defense of all dragon, winged beast and thunder monsters by 200. I have one copy of... Uh, let me shuffle that around. One copy of Polymerization. Which allows you to fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck. Using monsters from your hand or field as fusion materials. I thought I had two in here but apparently I only have one. I also have an... Somewhere floating around, it might be my box over over the other side of the room. I have an ultra polymerization, which I've just decided I'm going to put in this deck as well. And to finish it off, once again, thanks to subscriber Simon. One copy of Rage with Eyes of Blue. Uh, banish this card and as many cards as possible from your hand, field, and graveyard, face down. And if you do, special summon up to three copies of Blue Eyes White Dragon from your deck. You cannot normal or special summon monsters the turn you activate this card, except Blue Eyes White Dragon. So that's it guys for the spells. As you can see it's obviously quite heavy with spells as well as the monsters. Traps are moderate, but can be quite heavy as well, which I'll go on to now. So here's the traps. The trap cards for this deck, guys. I like to run one copy of White Hole. Obviously, if your opponent's running a Dark Hole, you play White Hole in unison to it, and your monsters stay while his monsters go. I have one copy of Mirror Force, mostly because the deck back and forth itself anyway, so I don't need more than one copy. Uh, one copy of Call of the Haunted. There is one Dragon's Rebirth and one Burst Breath. I have three copies of Castle of Dragon Souls. And finally for the trap cards, I have one copy of the Ultimate Creature of Destruction. Once again, for the third time in the video. Ha ha. Thank you to my subscriber Simon for the, the cards that have helped create this deck. Basically the ultimate creature of destruction, you target one blue eyes monster you control. This turn, that face up monster is unaffected by card effects except its own. It cannot be destroyed by battle, also any opponent's monster it battles is destroyed at the end of the damage step. While this card is in your graveyard, if you normal or special summon a blue eyes white dragon, you can set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this. Uh, bleh, you can only use the effect of Ultimate Creature Destruction once per turn. So that's the trap cards. Nice, quick, simple, and easy. Moving on now, we have the synchros and the XYZs and the fusions. So, guys, just to finish off. Uh, what has been one of my favourite decks, right next to my Dark Magician, and my Legendary, actually pretty much right next to most of my decks, because I quite like all of them. Uh, it's the Synchros, and the XYZs, and the Fusions, starting us off with two copies of Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, two copies of Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, I run one Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. One copy of Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. 
and it's a two for two, but I have two copies of Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and two copies of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which actually you're allowed to do due to the fact that Neo Blue Eyes is actually a different card to the standard Ultimate Blue Eyes. Which I've just noticed don't actually have codes on the bottom corner. Hmm. It's only taken me till now to notice that, but yep. So that's your extra deck there, guys. Uh, I'd like to say thanks for watching this video as well. If you liked it, scroll down, let me know you've liked it. Uh, drop me a subscribe for new, new and uh, improved content when it comes out. I'm hoping now at some point in the next week to try and get my hands on a copy of the uh, new structure deck that came out, the Zombie Horde. Um, but yeah, this for now this has been my Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. Um, like I said, keep your eyes posted down below in the description box. You'll have the full deck list in there. Uh, once again, thanks again to my subscriber Simon for the, the cards that have helped to build the deck. Also, you'll find links below for my YouTubers, uh, my YouTubers, sorry, my eBayers, where I get most of my cards from. And the competition that's currently lasting for one more week, guys. One more week, that's all you've got. So far, I've only had one person comment.